Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this episode we will be talking about how we can work with Excel template using Power Automate. So let me talk about the business requirement over here. I have one Excel template for employee review where I am capturing different information about the employee like this. This is the blank template which is uploaded in one of my SharePoint document library. Now I want to achieve a functionality that let's say whenever a manager will review for any of the employee the excel is to be filled by using this template and automated email should be sent to their manager and they will be able to see all the information which manager filled in and the end outcome should be looking like this where it will utilize the same excel template with all the information filled in how can we achieve this type of requirement to achieve this type of requirement we need to use a concept of office script now what is office script how we can create office script in the excel and how we can utilize that with the power automate i am going to show you everything step by step throughout this end of the video so don't miss any moments from here and if you love this concept please support me by clicking like button and subscribe button on my channel before we get started if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me so without further delay let's get started the very first step that you need to perform here is uploading your excel spreadsheet template so here i have this type of blank template which i have uploaded so this is the blank excel template with no information attached over here all right second thing you need to perform here is you need to create one office script now how to create office script on your template i will explain you over here so let me start with the excel script development so first of all you need to open this spreadsheet into edit mode and make sure that this version of excel should always be excel online this will not work with the excel desktop so make sure that the script development that you are doing here is using excel online only but obviously when the file is generated you will be able to download it and see it into excel desktop as well but the script development process is only for excel online then you need to go to the automate step from here so click on that and over here you can develop your script now let me show you what type of script it will look like so this is one of the script i have developed for my template over here and you can see that the script will look like this if you have worked with the vb macro in the past it will be similar like this so the script code is looking like this but the question arises in your mind that you know i am not from coding background how can i develop this script so let me show you the easiest path over here to build up the script and then i will explain you the rest of the things so let me just close this existing script and let's build our new script from scratch so to build the script basically there is an option to create a new script from here also when you create the new script we need to write couple of code inside that but i don't want to make that complicated i want to make easy for citizen developers as well we will use easiest path over here which is record action so let's say this is my template now how should result should be generated so the result would be like this whenever i am going to this c4 column it should print some name over here let's say if i'm going over here in phone number it should print some phone number here similar way for other columns as well so these are the different step that we are manually following if you do this entire script manually okay so basically we need to record the action and the recorded action will generate a code automatically for us and after that we will build the similar script like this which i built okay so let's get started so first of all what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to sheet 1 okay now i'm clicking here on record action now over here what we need to do here is first we need to go to the employee review and place my cursor into name now type the name over here like dhruvin okay so you can see one action is recorded edit c4 
okay now same way let's say these are the different current year project so let's say what i'm doing here is here you can see couple of cells are merged cells so i'm just adding my sample over here so i will get the range over here so you can see that uh, here i'm just typing some random thing like this okay and now i'm going to my next cell so you can see it has edited to these two things okay and after that you simply need to stop your script okay your code will be generated automatically you don't need to worry about it okay so it is very simple code and very easy code so don't worry okay uh, now over here you can see what it has done here is first of all it is getting your spreadsheet we first were in the sheet one and then we went here so first of all it is getting that workbook using this code okay so very first step is that second step is that it is getting the range of c4 and adding the value dhruvin so this is c4 and dhruvin right same way we need to set date of birth phone number gender address and others field as well okay so what we will do is simply we will copy this code and just change the cell range so this first line of code let's copy and paste four more times okay all right so this is my name this is my date of birth so it is in c5 okay so this is c5 then in c6 we need to set up our phone number then in c7 we not need to set up our gender and in c8 we need to set up our address that's it we don't need the another one so let's remove it okay so this five combination has been done okay now over here you can see that my cells are merged cells and they are from c11 to f11 okay so it is having that range and inside that range it is setting this value now what we need to do here is we need to simply copy and paste these variables so let's paste five times okay so i pasted now here we need to change c11 to f11 that is fine then for expertise we need c12 to f12 so let's change it c12 to f12 okay now c13 to f13 and same way do the rest of the thing for another two options okay so i'm done with my code change but now the question arises that you know these are the static value how we can create the dynamic value so we need to pass the parameter from our main function so you need to define different variable now to define the variable after your workbook this is the must parameter that is always the first parameter in the any script that you are writing in the office and you need to press comma and you need to define variable like let's say name is my first variable so i'm defining my name variable i need to press colon and after that i need to define the data type which is string okay so i'm defining this data type that's it now i want to define another variable which is date of birth and its data type as well i want as string okay uh, then i need phone number and i need that as well as a string okay so same way you can define all your variables so now let me define one more which is expertise so expertise and string okay so i'm just defining only four at this moment but in my previous script i have done everything so i will show you okay so we define that now we need to assign this value inside this set value so we need to remove this static value from here so instead of dhruvin we will just use the variable that we created name so let's provide that variable name and in suggestion box you will get that name okay same way for other things like instead of dhruvin here let's assign date of birth okay and then over here as well we need to assign phone number okay so i just define that and this is expertise so expertise in c12 so in this section let's define expertise okay so i'm done all right 
so we develop our script similar thing you need to do for all the other variables over here okay now you you can save this script and maybe just rename this script that demo populate employee okay and now i will show you the final script which i have prepared it's just a matter of rest of the another variable so i'm just going back here and when you save your script basically it will appearing into this section okay so demo script okay now i am just opening the script which i already built up with all the proper naming conventions so i am editing from here and show you so it will looking like this so i have defined the same variable for every each individual thing and i set for each individual range over here okay so we all done now the next step is that you need to clear your template so i am just blank out this template because this is just for our testing purpose we did and save your template so i am just saving it okay now let's close our template so our template creation and script creation process is completed now we need to create one folder into our sharepoint document library where all the final output file will be generated so in my document library i have created one another folder reviews and in reviews i am generating the different generated outcome okay so just create that folder now let's move towards the third step to populate this excel template with power automate so let me just head over to my power automate flow so now the very first action that we need to add in our power automate flow is we want to trigger this flow when an item is created to my sharepoint list which is employee review so whenever i will add any entry over here it should trigger so the first action is that when an item is created where i added site address and list name then i need to get the template file content so template file is uploaded into this folder where we have created script and all of those stuff right so i need to get the content of this file so for that i need to use an action get file content in get file content first of all we need to provide the site url and from this file identifier we need to select our template file so my template file was in my shared documents in my excel template review and over here this is the template which i uploaded so i'm just selecting the template over here that's it okay now once we get the file content we need to create a dedicated copy of the template to generate the value because we don't want to populate the value in template so every time a new review is created we need a separate file so first of all we will make a copy of this uploaded template so we will use an action create file we will provide the site address then we will provide the folder path where we wanted to store our files so as i told you i need the generated outcome into review folder so what we will do in our power automate flow is we will just provide the folder path as review and then we need to provide the file name so i'm just adding the employee then i'm providing the title which is something which is my sharepoint list so this is my sharepoint list where user will add so i'm just appending that name inside the file name itself so it's easy for identifier and then utc now current time dot xlsx so i'm adding that and file content is something which i will get from get file content so you just need to place here and you just need to search for file content and from this section you just need to place that file content okay so that's it all right now the most important step here is to now execute our excel script okay so for that you need to use run excel run excel script you just need to search for that so i just added that over here you need to select the location so first of all you need to provide the site address so i, I am in the hr site so i'm just selecting that uh, you just need to provide the document library so this is the document library now you need to provide which in which file you wanted to run the script so this is the file copy that we generated into above step so we need to provide that file over here so we need to just provide id from create file and over here it will populate all the scripts 
so let's say over here we can see this is the script that is the final script i already created and this was the one which we are about to create right so demo popular employee so it will show all the script so i am just selecting my script over here employee review and whatever the parameters that you have defined it will populate all of those parameters over here so employee name date of birth phone number gender address everything so now you need to provide those value from your sharepoint list item so here title column is from when an item created is my employee name date of birth is this column so from sharepoint list we will get all the values okay so we just need to map this so over here as well from here we just need to search dob date of birth same way map the rest of the thing i already did that so i'm just deleting this action from here and the final will be looking like this okay after mapping perfect so we run the script our output is generated to that excel now the thing is that we need to send this file as an attachment so after generating after running the script we need to get the content again so we will add the action get file content again and over here we will select the site and in file identifier basically we need to provide this file which we created so in create files id we need to provide so you can simply go here and search for id from create file and that's it you will get to know on that and after that you just need to add send email action and in send email you just can provide the appropriate email address subject body and in attachment you need to provide the attachment so attachment is nothing but uh, whatever we are getting as a file content we need to pass over here into this attachment content so over here you simply need to select file content and over here you need to provide the file name so file name is something which we are getting so you need to simply search for name and from create file just grab that variable that's it okay so your flow is ready so it's a simple flow the main logic here is run script rest of the thing you already know maybe so this is how your flow is created now let's test the flow so here i am going and creating one more review over here so i am creating a review over here for one of the employee and i'm just providing the date of birth and just trying to fill up the rest of the information so over here you can see that i have added all this information about this employee and now i'm clicking on save button the entry is created now let's wait for the flow to trigger all right the flow has started running so the flow ran successfully now and let me check my mailbox i received an email as well so let's see so you can see the file name is for that employee and whatever the information that i have filled in they all populated in that excel spreadsheet isn't that amazing so this is how you simply use excel as a template and populate your information inside your excel template hope this video helps you and values your time if so please hit thumbs up to support me and please share this channel with the maximum number of people if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for any consultation this is the website let's work together and if you wanted to follow me on my twitter instagram and any other social media handle all the information is here and don't forget to subscribe my another channel called digital dhruvin where i'm uploading short and regional hindi content so with this this is dhruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye and keep smiling